All right, a little update on the wheel horse I bought. Um, the reason I bought it is because the engine did have compression, and I didn't see anything major missing off of it. So it is a pretty overall complete tractor, just missing that grass chute there. But the deck turns fine, everything works. So I took the carb off and let it soak in some of my chem dip over there and got it cleaned up. While that was happening, I came back here to the training and was checking it out. And I noticed that the pulley, well, you can't see it under there, but underneath there, the, the transaxle pulley was had an angle on it. And I was like, well, I've never seen none like that. So I went under and looked under the deck here. And that bracket right there, that you can see that new shiny bolt, that bracket on both sides was out. So the axle had really been shifted up right there and on the back here the four bolts on well two on each side here they had been moved and you could see they had bent the frame there so I loosened all four of them lined the, the two brackets on the front that were out lined them back up put new bolts in them and then tighten these back up and while I was torquing these well not really torquing them just tighten them um, it straightened everything back out so it straightened the frame out so it's all works back here now and it's fine so I put the car back on after I got it cleaned up and shot some starting fluid in it and it, it sputtered so I went ahead and hooked the fuel system back up I had the whole tank out to clean it and put new line in a new fuel filter and everything so got that all lined out and it started right up and it, it runs good now and I just need to do a little bit of adjustment on the car I did the high speed needle one and a half out and I did the low speed one and a half out. So it's it runs pretty well now and I just think it needs some minor adjustments. So I'm gonna go in tonight and look up this engine and maybe I can find out the settings that it needs for the carb and everything. So I'll start it up here in a minute, but I wanted to show you. This the hood goes all the way front forward now. This is broken on it, so I'm gonna have to fix that and it connects up here. And it would have held it somewhere, I don't know, up in here maybe. Um, then the muffler I put on, it didn't have a muffler. Um, I only had the straight pipe and I had to use an adapter down to the three-quarter on it, as you can see there. So when I did that, I had to cut, notch this out, so I just notched it and bent it in. I guess if I found the right one one day, I'd just bend it back out and tack it and repaint it, I guess. But for now, it'll it works just fine bent in. And while I was doing all that, I was wanting to fix the headlights, even though, you know, you just don't use headlights on a lawn tractor. Unless, I guess, you romp in it or something, but I broke the damn bezel. So on the bezel, there was a little, this piece fit in there, and then on the back of that, it held it in behind this plate. And it just went into this plastic, so I was like, well, maybe somebody just, it was too tight, and somebody just cranked it out of there, so... I was tapping it back in and ended up cracking that right down the middle. So for now I just got a few pieces of tape holding it in until I figure out what I'm going to do to fix it. Um, I do usually hook the lights up on tractors that I fix up just because I like everything working right. So I had it started and running and on these there's a little switch here. This engages the deck and there's a little, I, I guess it's a solenoid is what I would say it is. on the bottom side of the pulley for the engine that that kicks and it closes or opens one of the two and it it turns the deck on and it works great so everything works on it, it all the gears work the only thing now I gotta fix is the brake the brakes not grabbing anything but those are just usually minor adjustments under this wheel here so I'll do that one day when it's not freaking like almost a hundred degrees out here 94 degrees it was a hundred and two earlier but I had two fans going. I got them off now while I'm making this video. Had two fans going. I was doing all right. So, but I'm gonna start it up real quick, and then I'm gonna turn the video off and take it outside and really get a good test drive, and and I'll try and film that too if my neighbors aren't looking at me funny. Anyways, let's give her a start here. I don't think there's any safety switches on it still except for the clutch. I think that's because the one in the seat it was hooked up, but the switch was broke, so I imagine it it was bypassed at one point. So if I can do this with one hand, there we go. It's not all the way high, though. It may die, but. 
bit. Yeah, it's gonna die all the way idle, so I'm gonna adjust it a little more, but it is running and and uh, I backed it up and put it forward a little bit in here, but I'm gonna take it out here in a second and really drive it good, so be back in a minute. Alright, so we're gonna go for a little ride here. Even though there's no brakes, but I think we'll be alright. Back down. I don't know why yet, but it feels like it's bound up down there almost. Oh, I guess you can shift while you're going, yeah. So there we go. It shifts easy while you're not holding the pedal down, I guess. on up here. I'm out of gas. I didn't put much in it, so maybe I can get it started to get back. Alright, well, I need to be in neutral, that's for sure. I may have to go get some gas. Yep, I'll get some gas. So anyway, I actually had the, the gas off. I did go get gas, but that's when I, of course, noticed that the gas was off. So... Get it started back again here. So just a few carb issues to fix, just hunting a little bit there, and uh, probably doesn't help that I don't have the top to that air cleaner right now, so it's probably sucking in more air than I guess it probably needs. So I better get that or else I won't be able to set the carb right, of course. And one thing I just, I can't get over about this tractor is the steering on it is just mint. Man, it just, it steers so well. And I, it doesn't seem much different than a lot of them, but there's, it's just so perfect I don't know it just everything about it is just it steers just perfect so but anyway I'm gonna sharpen the blades on it tomorrow and uh, tune this carb in if I can find something to put on the top I mean even if it's just a, a plastic top and I can put a screw hole in it and run my run my screw through to the bottom of the carb there so I'll do that and I think everything else on it's all right I'm gonna have to fix the brakes of course still and whatever is up with the clutch, I don't know. I guess I don't. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or if it says it says on here gear shift push down. So I don't know how. It doesn't feel any different whether I'm going. I mean, it, sh it shifts perfect when you're not when you don't already have it in gear. But something I don't. I don't. I guess I'm gonna have to look up the manual and see what it says. I I would say you have to have the clutch down, but I don't know. So, I'm going to look it up. Of course, the voltmeter still works. It still works perfect. So,